Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Hi, my name is Mercy. Mercy. Um, I'm 30 years old. Okay. I'm from Kisumu, Kenya, and I am a registered pharmacist. Okay. And yeah. All right. What are some things <laughs> like to do for fun? Um, I like cooking a little bit here and there. Okay. Um, I like modeling. Okay. Um, I like fashion. Okay. Um, and what else? I love watching movies. All right. Yeah. What's your favorite movie? Man, it's so many. <laughs> <laughs> so many movies i don't even know which one off the top of my head okay, right now no problem yeah. now what are some things you look for in a man um for me i would say uh, i want someone who's a man of god okay. you know someone who has a heart for jesus mm -hmm. um i want someone who is you know who knows what they want mm -hmm. i want someone who's emotionally available okay. um character is really big for me so someone who's humble someone who's kind mm -hmm. someone who's who has like a giving heart okay yeah. now what are some deal breakers Ooh. Uh, kids okay someone who has kids um someone who smokes mm -hmm. i don't do smoking mm -hmm. um and i think those are like my top two okay yeah all right so we did get a few pop balloons okay. let's go on over there see why they ended up popping okay everybody pop but the simp brother he started to he he ain't gonna do it he said I, he down bad and we say nothing more dangerous than a man deprived of kudos he in atlanta you in atlanta you should be you, you should have no problem what are you here for uh come on mr x we we discuss and observe that there's levels to this select men in in atl if you are a, a select male by your lived experiences atl is your annoying fun place you should be beating them off with a stick but this simping brother right here with he got no sauce what the young kids say he got no no riz Zero riz, man. <laughs> now he got he holding his balloon out. It's unfortunate. She's sitting there in her mind. She most likely like the second from last dude I want is still holding his balloon. And I gotta walk all the way down here just to pop it. <laughs> all right, let's start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Antoine, I'm 35. And I pop my you look amazing. Thank you. Listen, I pop my balloon because I'm Muslim. Okay. Um that's really it for real. Okay. No uh, problem. Okay. Now, is he someone that's your type? Yeah, he is. He's handsome. Um, he's really tall. And I like your outfit. Appreciate you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's go to our next guy here. Okay. Your name and age? Ramon, and I'm 36. Mm -hmm. And Ramon, why did you end up popping your balloon? Two reasons. I got two daughters. Okay. And I'm a weed smoker. Okay, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I like your swag, though. Thank you. Appreciate it. For sure. <laughs> now is he someone that's your type um not usually uh but i really like the outfit you look really nice like your swag at some point really listen the bottom line is we don't know what the hell she looked like that wig is egregious i mean my god you should get if you should get stopped walking down the street and ticketed like jaywalking and stuff like that you should get a ticket for egregious wigs in public can you see i feel like i said that before <laughs> At least, at least second that motion. That it, there is no human head shape like that. There is not one human on the face of this earth. Shout out to the cone heads. They don't exist. They don't. I don't. This ain't the cone head. I don't know what this would be. Box head. Her head ain't that long and ain't that long. It's wild. It's wild. It's all wig. That's why I look like we call it a hair helmet because it looks like a helmet. Look like a DOT approved motorcycle helmet. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over, see if we can see what this woman. All right. What she see actually look like. There we go. You can see your face at least, still wigging out, but she got her whole face covered up on the show. It got the bang, and but okay. Now the sister, she appears to be modelesque, if you will. Collarbones for centuries, you know, taller, slender, but we know what's up under them wigs huh. we know what's up under them wigs and it's nothing traction alopecia most likely that took hold some terrible some terrible yeah so yeah obviously a lot of these women be models granted obviously y'all the most single demographic of women is you models that's crazy <laughs> there we go that's natural you would think, see what I'm saying? See, you, I used to, ah, I'm not, ah, I'm not as dumb as I was yesteryear. You would think. <laughs> there you go. 
two things is true. I'm a hope so. I'm gonna be hopeful that that's her. so. I, yes, I got the same hope in my heart. You like it's so short. I mean, dag, how low can you go? Don't ask those questions. <laughs> like I said, even if it ain't, like I said, this is as good as it gets. This is a natural look, at least. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we say this all the time. You can't plant, plant your flag on every hill. Because when the women actually do come up here with natural hair, y'all don't want them. They be Wakanda forever. So what I'm saying is that's as good as it gets. Bless y'all. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and Lee Turner said she in witness protection with that wig. Huh. Uh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Here we go. Really like it. Appreciate it. You're welcome. So what makes him not your usual type? Um, I usually go for someone taller, a okay. bit taller. You know, I feel like I'm a tall girl. I'm not too tall, but like, you know, just a little bit. So mm -hmm. I like, you know, someone who's up here for me. Okay. Yeah, that's really it. Like how tall? Like, cause I'm six three, so I mean, <laughs> really, I'm a I'm above average, um, yeah, way above average. So. I mean, I don't really want to say like six five. Usually, I would like six five, okay. but you know, wow. that's okay. you know, but that's just my preference. But six foot and above is good. But yeah. it's just you kind of look a little bit, you know, not as tall. I would say. Okay. I'm sorry. For sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go to our next guy. Okay. Your name and age. Uh, J D. 35. Mm -hmm. And JD, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, I mean, honestly, uh, the fit go crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit, that shit fly. Thank you. Um, she just like too skinny. Like, I like them a little thick. I be getting cold <laughs> at night, so I need something like to hold on to. You can keep me warm. Okay. That's all. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is JD, someone that's your type. Um, JD, no, not really. He's not someone that's my type. That's but you seem like you cool people, though. Appreciate it. You're welcome. And what, what makes him not really your type? Um, he's just not my type. I mean, the height thing is number one. Um, I mean, the fit is cool. Um, the tattoos are really cool too, but I don't know. He's just, okay. I can't really put my finger on it, but okay. it's like when you know, you kind of know. You feel me? But respect, respect. No problem. Love. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go over here. Your name and age? Uh, Braylon, I'm 37. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, could I like to smile? <laughs> Thank you. It's the hair, man. It's too much <laughs> weave. It's okay. a lot going on. <laughs> She said she was from Kenya, and I get a lot of scam calls, and I just <laughs> want to be dealing with that. And just the, the accent, I feel like I'm going to be saying, hi, what you say? Okay. Okay. But other than that, like, mm -hmm. I, like they say, I do like your fit and everything. Thank you. Like it's, it's different. I never, it's, it's cool. Thank yeah. you. Sure. All right. Smile, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> and now, is he someone that's your type? Um, Not really. But it's okay though. Too short. No, how tall you, are you? Okay, you guys. No, 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 no. no. Okay, <laughs> let me. Refer. I mean, you're out here saying six five. I know. Okay, I'm saying six five only because, like, you know, I have a lot of like tall guy friends. So usually for me, I'm used to like really tall guys. So you comparing us to your guy friends? Okay, that's crazy work. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Pipe down, you know. <laughs> I'm saying I'm usually used to a lot of taller guys. And you're just not tall for me, and that's okay. Like, no problem. Appreciate you know? that. No problem. Cool. Let's go Thanks. down there. <laughs> well, there you go. Hell! One thing about this brother, he's standing on business, but y'all know these women, they cannot take rejection and constructive criticism. They are going to come back with smoke. Now, men, on the other hand, you know, they can say something, say, okay, all right, thank you. These women going to come back. Yeah, you short. I'm used to men taller. That's no problem. Don't be offended. You know, the guys I work with, they 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, you know? That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. She said, the guys I work with, they taller. And he said, so you comparing us, comparing me with your male friend guys? She said, no, I ain't doing No, that's exactly what you just did. You just said he's not short in general. He's just short compared to your male friends and and that is such a red flag so so you are around men's that you got male friends that you find more desirable why even play with it i wouldn't do it and that's why we say occupational hazard she's a model that's what's up be a model strive for greatness in that field go for the god dang on gold however accept the relationship issues you may have because of said profession that's all. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Let me fix my face. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
My name is Kashim. Hi. I'm 38 years old. Mm-hmm. And Kashim, what did you end up popping your balloon? I got mad reasons, but I'm going to hit you with three. No One, problem. the God thing, right? Mm-hmm. I hear that a lot. Let's just say mm-hmm. I don't have a lot of good experience with women who say that they're looking for a man of God. Okay, right? no problem. Um, two, I got a son. Mm-hmm. You said you want a man with no kids. Okay. Um, three, not really my type, but you're cute, though. Like, okay. you know, I mean, well put together or whatever, but Thank you. I like him curvy. I like him with a little, you know what I mean? Okay. Word, so. No problem. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, is uh, Kashi someone that's your type? No, he's not my type. And it's not just because he's not tall. I know that's like a thing going on. Like, you know, we're not tall, da da da, but sometimes it's like when you know you know. Okay. You know, so when you look, it's like he seems like he's cool, but he's just not my type. And not just because of the height thing, though. But yeah, thank okay. you. <laughs> like, even he doesn't believe you. I don't believe I'm that. so serious. Yo, yo, real, real quick, like okay. if you take the heels off, you're the same height, right? Okay. So at the end of the day, I get it, your preference and all. I'm mm-hmm. not even arguing with you. I'm just saying, like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, we're mm-hmm. the same height. Okay. And then you just say these gentlemen over here that's taller than me mm-hmm. ain't tall enough for you. So <clears throat> I'm good though. I'm good. <laughs> thank you. Brother, why you come up here if you so damn insecure? I said this long ago. Terrence went through that, so y'all don't have to go through that. Everybody knows the temperature up here on this show. So if you're a shorter brother, why would you bring yourself out here if you ain't secure with yourself? That, that part right there. This is not a good look. Being being confident in your insecurity is not confidence. I'm going to say it again. Being confident in your insecurity is not confidence. That's what he's doing. He's smiling about it, but it's still an insecurity to the forefront. And women can smell it. They got that hypergamous nature. They can smell all your insecurities. Their intuition could be shot completely out, but they're going to smell them insecurities. I assure you that. Don't do it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's start with your name and age. My name is Anthony. I'm 37. Okay, Anthony, why did you pop your balloon? Six Hail Marys. God forgive me. I'm not religious. Okay, that's okay. okay. Um, Okay. Here and I don't know. I you just, good? <laughs> I didn't have nothing else after that. Like once you say that, I just kind of tune out. It's Got okay. It. You are good though. It's okay. <laughs> now is Anthony someone that's your type? No, he's not. Okay. Um, I don't know. The fit is. I mean, it's okay, but it's not really what I would prefer for a guy to wear. Like if it's a first date type of stuff, you know, I prefer a little bit more dressed up. Definitely. But that's okay. it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we do have an unpopped balloon right here. Okay. Let's start off with your name and age. Brian K. Johnson, 37, out of Atlanta. Okay, so Brian, we see you still have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Not tall, but uh, <laughs> most definitely I like what I'm seeing. You know, my dad's from Africa, so I respect the whole motherland movement and all that. I respect that. What part I mean, of Africa? He's from, not the scam artist, but he's Nigerian. <laughs> he's Nigerian, but he's not. Here we go. This brother about to start doing his sympathy. He is well cra- He listens. And it's it's a, I don't know if it's a coincidence that he's going last, but he can rem- he's picking up data. So when she sit there, hey, you African, I'm African too. Hey, you know, every his brother says <laughs> big time. He said, I know you like tall guys. I ain't tall, but here I am. <laughs> he he uh brother, not a good showing. Nevertheless, he didn't disqualify himself. So we can't be hypocrites, huh? So he's standing. He's like, here I am. Still got my balloon. Let's see if he gets impressed. Everybody hold on tight. Hold your breath. We not from that village, yeah. But uh, yeah, I respect the accent. I respect all that. You know, I respect the Southern. You know, I'm from the South, but we do respect the Atlanta to Africa movement that's going on. We love that. So I'm, I'm rocking with the chocolate skin, too. Okay. Skin tone. Thank you. All right. Okay. So, as we heard, the whole six five thing, we know. <laughs> but is he someone that's your type? Um, I would say no. Okay. He's not okay. someone that's my type. And what is what is the type of size um, six five? I feel like just the the dressing is nice. Cool. Um, just the the physical attraction. Gotcha. I feel like there's not really any physical attraction there for me. Or muscles, right? Um, not just muscles, but I feel like when you know, like. You know, you kind of know. You know when you know. Gotcha. Yeah, basically. Okay, knock that. So okay. the physical attraction it. is just not there for me. Respectfully. Yeah. Just go, go ahead and pop. Okay. Just, oh, just do it. Just it. do it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So. I'm not sure if he's trolling or what. 
Like he like, oh, I'm not tall enough. Oh, I don't have enough muscles. What is it? What 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 can I do, my queen? How can I qualify myself to you? That ain't how this works. Listen, fellas, no disrespect to that, brother. We all gotta learn. That's he very much given cuckold energy, man. That's real wild work. Just very, very agreeable. And he all fidgety, like he over there wobbling like a oompa loompa. Just he giving whimsical and 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 cutesy wootsy and man ain't supposed to be cutesy wootsy. That's what he giving. She like she want to pet that ninja on the head. <laughs> That's all the balloons popped, but yeah. we do thank you so much for coming thank on. You. Let's go ahead and give it up for her guys. Thank you. <laughs> so that was it. Oh for three so far. Nobody's getting a balloon. Hmm. What's going on? Huh? It's like stalemate. You know, I, I kinda. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like the light skinned brother. And all all due respect to my light skinned brethren out there, but I feel like he gonna do something wonky. He 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 wonky as well. And then plaid pants, man. He getting more and more fidgety. He becoming unstable. Yeah, Gavin X said it earlier. These brothers don't get no cool to cata. That's why they are start acting like this. They do anything. These ninjas wind up cash up at five hundred, a thousand dollars. These sisters can give them a sob story tonight, and be like, "Look, I really liked you when I first saw you. I knew it was love at first sight. The Lord spoke to me. You know, I've been keeping myself to myself. I, I really, I want you so bad, but I got to pay my mortgage. Can I have a thousand dollars? He gonna be borrowing money from his boys to get that money. <laughs> that part. So here we go. We